Okay, it's Clay Chart, and this will be a video chart on the Dow Jones Industrial Average daily chart, and then I'll go over um, possibly some other time frames, but not real sure because uh, we're at a very interesting spot here on the daily, and I'll explain what I mean in a second. Uh, I've done the, the S&P 500 the past few videos, but I wanted to hop over to the Dow Jones just to make sure um, I'm trying to cover all my bases in, in terms of um, the overall markets. But the key thing that I'm talking about is we'll just start off, and this is also a great example of kind of showing uh, the power of charts, but taking this point and then these two points. So that's what I'm going to base this trend line on. So you can see that and then drop this down to right at these points. So by using this and then this little area here, look how well this trend line has done forecasting where these resistances are going to be. That's a resistance trend line, so let me just change that to red. But what is the interesting point? Well, here you can see back in early August, came up here, broke through an inner day, this trend line, couldn't close above it, hovered right around this price area, and then ended up getting knocked back down from it. But now look, the past four days, particularly today, next week is going to be our pay-per-view battle with this trend line. We had nice volume going into the weekend, which is good to see on a nice volume day like this. So um, grab the popcorn, um, you know, grab something to drink and get ready for this pay-per-view battle because we have the price going up against this trend line again here inner day it won but by the end of the day uh, the, the bears had won closed it below and then from there couldn't win until this pullback happened and um, like all charts and everything in the market pullbacks are good and this is just the most recent example of how a simple little pullback like that here and you had people starting to panic once again just created the ability for this nice bounce that we've had since then. So just to zoom in a little bit and let's go over some of the shorter term support levels on any sort of pullback. But the ideal level, and this means, you know, if this level fails, it's it's by no means anything to freak out about. But what would be nice is if it could pull back to this level right here, right around about 9400, we'll just call it, and hold. If it can start to base around 9400 ab and above that would be uh, you know great for the chart I think that would really help it to you know gain some strength sure it may be going short or sideways in the short term but this sideways action I think would really be kinda like uh, fueling the the rocket so when it does get ready to push upwards it would really go but as I said if that line doesn't hold and the price does fall below it so let me uh, first get this changed to green for support if that line doesn't hold then the area I'm looking at is more of a, once again another kind of little zone based on this high area here then you saw the price come down and bounce and then also we had another kind of area of lows down here so this area I'm just gonna leave actually I'll make that another color and this color is just gonna remind us that this is more of the support zone right here between you know 9200 to we'll say 9100 or so so we'll give it a hundred point zone and um, if this doesn't hold you know it could very easily fall back down into this zone but hopefully that'll hold and maybe what we can do is then put in a double bottom where we'd have our first bottom here and then over here get a second double bottom and then with that follow it up with a nice explosive move to the upside. Will that happen? You know, I have no idea, but uh, it's a possibility based on where these uh, support levels are at. Now in terms of these indicators on the daily, you can see that the MACD has completely flattened out now. Very good sign. Now all we need to see is it to begin to curl up and then get back above its signal line. And our RSI 5 uh, which is measures of strength has entered back into the power zone above 70 so that's a good little um, sign there in terms of the strength that it's gaining here now for resistance levels let's hop over to the weekly chart um, as I mentioned in a, a previous video from seeing this line that I drew uh, our next resistance after this trend line is going to be right up here uh, around the 9700 mark um, 9700 9800 whatever you want to call it but that's going to be kind of our next key resistance area. So that's uh, the level to monitor on um, the daily chart. So, um, or excuse me, on, on the weekly chart. 
So that wraps up the Dow Jones. Uh, the key thing, I know this wasn't too extensive, but the key thing I wanted to point out was just our pay-per-view matchup with this trend line coming up next week and seeing how that uh, reacts as the price gets up there. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. Also, um, I'd encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you sign up for the newsletter there, you will get um, a free ebook, and with that, uh, it'll give some strategies and so forth on how to use some um, kind of angles and viewpoints and uh, tips and tricks how to profit in the market. Uh, it's a free it's a free book, and you also will be subscribed and get free bullish chart setups, free uh, fundamental plays, free trading ideas, and so forth. And our trading ideas have been uh, doing very well. In fact, our most recent one uh, was alerted at 22 and a half cents, and today hit 29. So I'm not sure what the percentage is there, but um, over a short period of time, it's I know it's gone up at least 20 percent. Um, and you know you can't walk into a bank and get those sorts of rates for you know one week of a return on your money so it's worth at least signing up for checking out the different things it offers and like I said no strings attached it is all free um, so it can't hurt you to, to at least check it out but if you do have any other questions on the Dow Jones chart uh, shoot me a message um, if not thank you for listening and enjoy your weekend